Hi everyone, this is Kfir and I am a co-founder and the CEO of DSM Tool and today I'd like to share with you my thoughts about the news released in the DS magazine about eBay's huge new tool, pay-per-click advertisement tool called Highline Search Ads. All right. So if you want to know what is the huge release of eBay, what is this tool, how does it work? If you're already familiar with the concept of PPC, I highly suggest you, and even if you're not, if you want to listen to this video, I highly suggest you first to go to the DS magazine, go to the news and read a little bit about uh, the news section and read a little bit about um, that release of that feature. It will explain to you. So I'm, I will keep turning my head because the screen is always behind me. I think that it just looks nicer when it's behind me. So I'm sorry about that. But uh, if you read, you will see that there are pictures and screenshots, how it works, how does it suppose, uh, like some level of best practices, what are the nuances. I'm not going to discuss that. I'm going to discuss something else in a minute. Uh, but in the end of it, in the, uh, sorry, in the comment section, we would love to hear from you. I saw that there is already a comment from Kirk uh, Buchanan, which is a great um, uh, eBay and dropshipping mentor. But we would love to hear your opinion. What I would like to talk about is the, the idea behind that release. So when you're thinking about pay-per-click advertisements, for some of you, what I'm going to say is quite obvious, but maybe for some of you it isn't. Well, eBay did not invent anything. Actually, I was looking earlier for a Caribbean cruise, which hopefully I will probably never go to, but well, I was looking in Google for a Caribbean cruise and guess what? The first two results were advertisements. You must know it. Well, you can see it over here. It says ad. It has an ad tag because the Google puts ad tags next to the ad and it puts it on top of the of the results and the same way that if you read article the same way that ebay will charge you per click you can do the same thing in google you can say well for these and these keywords i want to appear first this is how much i'm willing to pay for that and if you're winning the bid you will appear in the first page of google results and if i'll click on one of these ads the advertiser, the company behind that ad, the person that is trying to advertise will actually pay whether I'm purchasing his item or I'm not purchasing, in this case, the Caribbean cruise. Well, it's not only Google, let's see it on Amazon. Amazon has the exact same thing. Actually, eBay is kind of imitating Amazon. If you search for something in Amazon, for example, I was looking for, I was looking for roasting sticks for lunch that we're gonna have later. And the first two results at the top of the page are actually paid. Someone is paying, well, is not yet paying, but will pay if I'll click on one of these ads. So eBay is following up on the same phenomena that happens pretty much on every marketplace, almost on everything that has search results. They always have paid search results as well. <coughs> Sorry. But what's the difference? What is, what is making eBay unique? Well, what eBay promises with their new feature is that you will not have to manage the audience. What does it mean audience management? Audience management means that you uh, choose who do you want, what, to what ranges of people of audience you want your ads to appear to. So for example, on Google, you can choose what are the ages or like only people that are and 20 to 30 years old, only people from specific locations, only from these and these uh, states in the United States, if you're advertising to the United States. Um, only, I don't know, only males or only females. And eBay says, well, if you're going to do that, we think that we, because we know our audience better, we could do a better work for you. And we will adjust the, the, those settings specially for you. So what happens is in Google, you would open an ad and you would try a specific audience. And if it wouldn't work, you would go, you open, will open another ad and you will like, you will take the same ad, but you'll try a different audience. And eBay says, well, you don't need to do all that. We will do that for you. We will find the most profit, profitable audience for you. And this way, they're trying to differentiate themselves from platforms like Amazon, which is not offering anything close to that. Will it work? Will it really be more profitable? Nobody really knows. But that's a very, very interesting offer from eBay. <clears throat> if you're completely new to uh, PPC, to the world of, of media or, or internet traffic, you 
must first learn how it works. You must learn the fundamentals. Actually, even if you think you know it and you want to use a tool like eBay's uh, new feature, you still have to learn the fundamentals. Um, and, and maybe it's a good time to go over it again if you're planning to start using that tool of, of campaigns. Why am I saying that? Because, well, when you're a dropshipper, usually what you do is, in most cases, if you work with a marketplace, if you work with Shopify or WooCommerce or one of those uh, websites, well, you already, you must master traffic or, or media purchase uh, previously. But if you're working with eBay or Amazon and you're doing dropshipping and you're using DSM tool, most of the times, well, you do your remarketing job. You work on the title, you work on the content. Maybe you use the new spin tool that we're using that will replace the, sorry, the, the new spin bot that we're offering in DSM Lister that will replace all the uh, all the content and then you're becoming unique and you appear first in the search results. In this case, you're asking to pay for that. But notice that you don't pay for selling, you pay for click. So if, for example, you, you, your profit is $5 and you're bidding for 50 cents per click and you win the bidding, well, eBay doesn't care if you make 100 clicks, which will cost you $50 and then one sale. It will be very, very not profitable for you because as we said, you make $5 profit from 50 clicks, which cost you $50. You're losing here $45 uh, on this campaign. Um, so you want to make sale every five clicks every five clicks five clicks will cost you well two and a half dollars you make five dollars well that's great that's a great campaign very profitable for you it generates more sales for you by ebay without the need of you know working hard on being the first in the in the in the first page the first result in the first page you can simply buy your your first result in the first page so you have to learn how to do it if you want to learn how to do it i highly suggest you this week well look what i did all I did was searching Google for how to manage PPC campaign. Yeah, exactly. Even I even went further. I said how to manage a PPC campaign on Amazon. Why? Because on Google, well, Amazon and Google would be not very far away from each other and Facebook would be, but these are pretty much the same. It's the same in, in all of them. But I said, well, let's, let's learn how to do it on Amazon if you're selling on eBay because, well, it's also e-commerce. It's also a, a, a marketplace. So search on Google, you can find free YouTube videos, you can find articles about it, just learn how to do it. Wanna go one step further? Go to a website like Udemy, look for Amazon PPC, you will find hundreds of courses that are teaching how to make sure that your campaign, that when you pay and you, when you bid, you stay profitable. Well, I can't wait, I'll go back to, to the article, I can't wait to hear your comments here below in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel um, and keep following our blog, I'll keep posting those videos uh, in the future. Hope to see you soon, have a great one.